Hey guys. So, today's been a super cool day. Um, f the first thing was we were nominated um, by the Chamber of Commerce in the next city over. Um, and we were nominated for marketing, which is super cool because you guys are a part of that. Um, we do a lot of live streams on Facebook, we do a lot of uh, online posting, and part of it is the YouTube. Um, the, the statistics for our YouTube page were actually included in the nomination. Uh, essay or blurb or whatever so that was really cool um so that was this morning actually this morning i tried to get some footage maybe i'll play it but it my, my battery died on my camera and i like talked to you guys for like two minutes <laughs> until i realized that my battery had died um so it's really cool we really appreciate uh i mean everyone loves recognition right so it's really cool to be uh, nominated for something that we're passionate about um and so i think i don't mark my words but i think that you guys are going to be able to vote for us and so um when the voting goes live i'll put the link in the description uh, of the latest vlog and you guys can actually click the link and vote for us if you feel like we deserve it and uh maybe we'll actually pull out a win on that that'd be super cool all right and um we're hosting our first succulent workshop of 2017. um last year we probably did like 20 or 30 maybe succulent workshops and uh for the most part they were almost all public we did a few private ones where we actually traveled off-site to do them um but this one is um this one is a uh, is a private wine club from the local uh from grand prairie from the local city and uh they go around they do like paint night so they do i don't know what things they do maybe pottery all sorts of things but tonight they chose us so they're here at our greenhouse and um we got some succulents set up and they're getting their drink on but check out their spread Holy, it looks good. And mom can't help herself. I'm doing it. She's digging in. I'm doing it. It was like a goat cheese with pomegranate that did yeah, it to me. Yeah, goat cheese. Goat cheese with pomegranate. These guys, these guys know what they're doing. They got even got uh, skewers going on. So, uh, I gotta say, as far as like workshops that we've done, private workshops, these guys are the most prepared. Um, they even brought a spare wine glass that I broke. <laughs> okay, check it out. Here we go. We got some planters that are just getting wrapped up. We, we've top dressed them with some rock. We got some really nice aloes in here. It's uh, they're all really coming together well. It's kind of getting a little bit dark in here, so it's a little bit difficult to see. But Cheryl's still working on hers. She's cramming them in there, making it nice and full. That one's going to be like a medium light and uh, really, really low maintenance, really low water. All right, let's look at the other side of the table. All right, one more here. Check this guy out. And she's got a few that she's going to take home as well. Beautiful. That's okay. Or like I've had there we go so lots of cool planters heading out today it's always fun we haven't done one for like a year now so uh, really stoked to be doing them again well good morning friends good morning Lorraine good morning good morning Suki she Hazel Suki. her name's Hazel she came back she morning, ran away Suki. for a few days now she's back again I'm so happy yeah she ran away for two days and now she three. came back last night three days so here she is hanging out with mom I'm sure our sweetheart. And look how long the hair on her toes are. Look oh at this. Oh, God, she burped. She just finished gout, gorging on kitty crunchies. Hey, and you sure are cute, though. And you sure are nice. Okay, today is uh, lots of things. Last night we had the, uh, the wine, uh, what do they call it? Wine party? Wine club? With the wine club here, and they made succulent planters. I got a little bit of footage of that. And then today's delivery day. So, we got more string of hearts. The first shipment sold out. We got a few things outside, a few things inside. We got some prayer plant, and we got some curly spider plant, and regular spider plant, and coffee plant, waffle plant. And so far, there's only one plant that came with bugs, and that's this guy right here. He has um, he has spider mites on him. I don't know if you guys can see. There's spider mites on here. You can kind of see like the crud. Do you see that little piece of crud right there? And you can kind of see maybe on the camera a little bit of crud around this area. 
Well, anyway, those rubber tree came in with uh, spider mites. And to be honest, we're not surprised, are we? No, I'm not surprised. Yeah, we're not surprised about uh, spider mites on rubber trees. That's pretty common. So we expected to see that. But we also, also, it's package day. So we got a whole bunch of other things. So check this out. Uh, number one, I haven't told you guys about this yet, but we um, are hosting a, a class, or like a workshop, if you will, on um, pest identification. So we have, um, <clears throat> what bugs do we have, Lorraine? in quarantine. We have mealybugs, scale, spider mites. And aphids. Oh yeah, and aphids so, too. So in quarantine, uh, in controlled environments, we have spider mites, mealybug, scale, and hey, the one we, I didn't say, didn't aphid have or spider mite. spider mite yesterday? We did, yeah. yeah. So we've got, these, we've got these bugs, and we're hosting a workshop where people are gonna come to our greenhouse and we're going to teach them and help them identify these bugs so that they can go home and know what to look for and what are the signs of a plant that has that bug. And uh, so today, um, all of our <clears throat> magnifying glasses came in. We have, a, we have a magnifying glass for Lorraine and we have one for me. Um, but uh, now we have, I think we ordered 10 of these. So we have some magnifying glasses so that everybody in the class will have a glass of their own that they can use to identify the pests. I'm going to go get my magnifier. <laughs> and Mom's going to go, here, this is one was yours. Oh, you already were going to pocket that. Please. So uh, we got that. That's cool. I was really hoping that that would come in in time for the, uh, in time for the workshop. Because some things you just can't see without a magnifying glass. Um, then next up on the docket is this little ditty here. So this is a... Uh, a rather expensive device and it um, connects to the cell phone network and it has a battery supply of its own and so what it does is you hook it up to the wall you plug it into the wall and it has a sensor and it reads the temperature and if the temperature drops below below a certain number that you set let's say I want it to notify me at 12 degrees then then that sensor will be in the greenhouse and if it, and if there's a power outage it'll recognize that it's kicking back onto reserve battery power and it'll call my cell phone uh, and if I don't answer it'll call Lorraine's cell phone and if she doesn't answer it'll call my second cell phone like it'll try its best to get a hold of us um, and so that'll be in the greenhouse set up and it has its own phone line as well so if the phone lines go down or if the power goes out it has a battery and it's connected to the cell network so it can contact us <clears throat> so i'm going to try my best to try i'm going to commit my time today to getting this operating um because i would love to have that up tonight uh last night it was already down to zero degrees there was frost on the uh on the flower hauling van when lorraine was picking this stuff up so uh yeah let's get that set up today Maybe we'll do a video exclusively on that so you guys can see all the features and what it has to offer. Um, just in case you guys are greenhouse people. We're looking for bugs. Oh, and over here we're looking for bugs. All, all, all two of us, all three of us now, are all looking for bugs. Do you find anything in there? Look at her. Oh, jeez, Louise. <laughs> <laughs> That's my circus cat. <laughs> she fit right through. She did. That's hilarious. What kind of bugs are you looking for? I don't know, just spider mites because it's apothos. And I just thought, well, you know what, if it's a pothos coming out of a box, it might You're going to burn a hole right through the leaf with that. Uh, do you think so? Oh, you bet your Instantly? ass. Instantly? Oh, yeah, very, very, very fast. Don't. Yeah, don't do that. I'm, I, I swear to God. Okay, I'll do it this way so there's yeah. no sunshine. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, you'll burn a hole right through that leaf. <laughs> I can't believe she popped right through there. So anyway, she's looking for bugs there. And I have one more package. Today was a three-package kind of day. Talanzia. Who likes air plants? Okay, who wants to look at the Talanzia with us? Who wants to have the first look? Can you see anything? Can you see anything? Yeah, who's that? Ooh. Ooh, there we go. Talanzia is back in stock. Um, holy guacamole. Alright, let's start digging. I'm going to try and get this up so we can walk a little bit of the sunlight. There we go. Okay, you want me to move? Yeah, go ahead. Look, we'll... look at the color on those babies. Oh, yeah, they're nice. Aren't they? The... Yeah, good color. And look at the size of some of these. Oh, yeah, some of these one... are really... That's a good variety. So today, uh, mm. so this time around, um, Mom did the ordering. She ordered the Delancey on this one. And so That's there's true. like five of this, five of that, five of everything on the list. Okay. It's going to be a pretty inclusive Talanzia order. <gasps> look at the little things! Ooh. Oh yeah, right. And you like, like, you like the little, little sand dollars and stuff. Look at those, hey? Plus some more zero graphicas. What's in this one? Look at those little babies. This one's weird. Oh, it's those, uh, I know what it is. What is it? Is it cholo wood? Nope. Something needs to be packed very delicately. Serious. Oh, it is the jellyfish. 
That's right. Oh, oh we'll, have to, we'll, have to, we'll have to crack it open to show you guys. Oh, here, you can see one little shell there. That's cool. Holy Talanzia for days. Check this out. I'll show you guys what we have left from the last Talanzia order. This is it. This is every air plant. This is every remaining air plant from the last Talanzia order. <laughs> That's so pathetic. So anyway, let's get these on the shelf and uh, and let the people of Grand Prairie be, be, be known.